Let's take a look at the optional accessories that are available for the Grinder 2. First up we have the Guard 2, which is a splash curtain that fits across the back of the grinder to prevent water from splashing everywhere. This is the Mini-G elevated work surface that allows you to work with 1 8 and 1 quarter inch bits. This accessory is the LumaShield 2. It's a combination eye shield and surface light. Let's open this package containing the Guard 2, a splash curtain that has these flexible fingers that prevents the water from splashing everywhere while allowing the glass to easily pass through. This is the LumaShield 2. It protects your eyes and face while grinding and lights up the work surface with powerful LED lights. This cord plugs into the back of the grinder and a switch on the front turns on these LED lights. The face shield simply slides into the LumaShield base. The splash curtain replaces the original mini splash guard that came with the grinder by sliding the tab into the receptacle. Now we'll install the LumaShield. It slides right into this holder here and it plugs in right there. So slide it down until it is fully seated, then plug the lighting cable into the receptacle. The LumaShield base is now installed. The final step is to place the clear acrylic guard into the base holder, just like this. All right, let's plug the power cord into the grinder too, turn on the light, and then turn on the power. All that's left to do is to add a sufficient amount of water to the tray and we're ready to start grinding some glass. I have one more optional accessory for the Grinder 2 and that's the Mini G. This is an elevated work surface that enables you to grind much smaller spaces. It will hold a 1 quarter inch or a 1 8 inch bit to allow you to get into those really tiny little nooks and crannies. So here's what it looks like. The work surface is very similar to the larger surface, and this is the water tray. Inside the tray, you'll find this shaft water seal that has to be placed over the motor shaft just like this to prevent water from getting into the motor. Place the larger surface back onto the grinder. Then place the Mini-G water tray just like this. It snaps into position. Another add-on accessory that you'll need are these Mini-G grinder bits. You get a quarter inch and a one eighth inch bit. I'll install this one eighth inch bit by screwing it into the top of the motor shaft just finger tight. Now we need the base of the Aquaflow system because we're going to replace the brush with this one that comes with the Mini G. The brushes are a little bit longer to provide sufficient water delivery to the base of the Mini G grinder bits. Add the correct amount of water into the Mini G water tray, then reinstall the Luma Shield and turn it on. Add these optional grinder accessories to your G2 grinder and turn it into the ultimate grinding machine.